Hello everybody and welcome to the second episode of Fuck the Snout Brought to you by Bleed Easy, this is Triple Six Steve I'm Hybrid MP Hey hey hey, Punks Fishers We're back for the second episode of our uh, of our podcast series Continuing talking about people that we love within music But also just having a chat amongst ourselves Spreading a bit of love on the local <coughs> music scene in this dark, dark time of Covid Got to uh, be done but yeah, trying to have a little bit of fun in this short amount of time that you get to listen to us. Not saying that you get to listen to us. Like, I don't know. Anyway. It's a privilege. <laughs> it's a privilege, yeah, of course. <laughs> right. So, same as last week. I'll start last week, the last recording. Last I'll start this one off. Punks, how's your week been, my friend? Well, this week has been the same, really, like on lates, but last week, I guess. Uh, yeah, you know, just been doing a bit of Christmas shopping. It's that time of the year, yeah. but I ain't going on. No shops or anything like that. It's been doing online. Yeah, as you do. Uh, Putting more money into old mate's pocket, the bald guy. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's his name? Jeff Bezos. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, yeah, man. Just uh, And then, yeah, just working on a bit of music last week. Uh, working on a beat that I'm quite excited about. Really? Um, Which beat is that? The one I showed you. Uh, the one I sent you, you know. Oh, the, yeah. The full one. Yeah. yeah. Another one. Another one. That one, that one. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that, that was quite good. Exciting, yeah. What, what have you been saying, Nigel? Um, same as last week, really. Uh, same as last week, yeah. Same as every week. Yes. Oh, no, you, you've got that in my head. Um, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Not a lot, man. Just work. I uh, had a little catch up with Connor on Tuesday, had a little meeting and that. And then um, I caught up with a certain friend last night that came back to visit. So, yeah, we got pretty mashy. And, oh, I, wor- yeah. and then I worked today. It was peak situations. <laughs> uh, the whole first half of the day, I was literally laying in bed, cold so sweat. Glad I didn't trying, come over last trying night not now. to vomit. The greatest respect. But yeah, it's been yeah, it's fairly chill. It's gone fairly quickly. I haven't done any of my Christmas shopping yet. I ain't even started. I ain't even, I'm no. not even thinking about Christmas. I tell you what, I'm, I've actually got a, a quite a cool idea. I think for for my Christmas present, I'm trying to keep it cheap at the moment, but also trying to be not kind at the same time. So I'm making each of my family members a dessert. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna make them something like like sweet and give them it on Christmas Day, except for one person who I know would much prefer savory, who I'm not gonna disclose on the show. Okay, but, <laughs> well, but just because I don't want to ruin it, if this well, it's not gonna come out oh, before see, Christmas, right. but you know. I don't, anyway, I don't want to give it away. I can say it. Can I say it now? Oh, it's not. I'm giving away something really important. I'm basically, I'm making my brother some sausage rolls, guys. All right? Some sweet ones. <laughs> they're not actually. They're going to be savory. Yeah, um, yeah. But yeah, anyway, that's oh, okay. my, that, that's my, uh, that's my uh, dessert. Anyway, sorry. Dessert this. present idea. Yeah. So yeah. And yeah, so one of the things we're going to talk about this week, um, just to give uh, you guys a little bit more insight into bleed easy and what we do and how we how we do it you dig so bleed easy how did how did bleed easy start it grew from the ground well so so giving everybody a bit of backstory we we're all from the same village in cambridge and we were all born and raised and in, in over in <laughs> other yeah no in we other. were all we were all brought we were all like sort of we all grew up in the same village, so we all went to the same skate park. We all sort of got into the same sort of stuff, had the same sort of influences, went to the same school. Yeah. Uh, and then we're actually completely different ages. Well, me and Nigel aren't. Me and Nigel are the same 25. Age. Yeah, 25 years 25 old. years old. 25 I'm years old. 25 years old. older. <laughs> how old are you, baby? Older. Tell them how old you are. He told everybody cryptically last week. Did you? Did yeah. I? Yeah, on the last week. When every time we say last week, it means the last episode. <laughs> yeah, how did, how did I, yeah how someone said someone said about you liking TikTok and being 14, and you said, and you said, oh, double that. <laughs> oh, right, okay, yeah, well, yeah. Ah. So he's cryptically giving it away, but yeah. Work it out, work it out, come on. There you see, go. see, see, see. But yeah, so that's bleed. So we're all from the same village. We all sort of knew each other from that. But then as we got older, me and Nigel were obviously friends as young, like since young, and still are good friends now. But Ben was always the older kid, weren't you, Ben? Yeah, yeah you were the little kids. You yeah. were the little kids on the skate park. Yeah. 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 The little kids used to have like a massive mohawk. And then as I soon as as soon as I grew a beard and Nigel grew whiskers. Yeah. <laughs> trust me. Then 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 we um we all started jamming and obviously when Sabotage came about and you started DJing at the events. Yeah. That's how we all became mates again, wasn't it? Well, yeah, well, that's it, man. Yeah, we I think we spoke on, on that last episode. I just sent you a beat and kind of Well you just said, yeah, just like Do you do hip hop? Do you do yeah. hip hop? I was like, I'll give it a go. Yeah, Why exactly. Not? Yeah, because I, I remember the first time uh, you showed me the thing you'd make, the track you'd started with Ben. It wasn't recorded yet. I think it was in a in a party. It was dogs. It was dogs. Remember? Yeah, it was dogs in oh, Shanghai. I remember. I remember. Yeah, yeah, right that's the first time I heard. Yeah, yeah. Mm. 
That, yeah, um, that was a that was a long long time ago. That was a completely different sound to what we're pushing yeah, now. Isn't it? For sure, feels like a long time ago, doesn't it? Yeah, doesn't it? How long ago was that? Like a year ago, year and a bit. Yeah, year and a bit. What that party? Uh, <laughs> the party. The party. What no, party? when I when I first heard the song, dude. Oh, why don't you listen to me? You I'm do this all. The, you do this there. all the time. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You started going a bit bit off at the end there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Well, yeah, how long ago was that? Now, like I mean, it must have been. Uh, well, the, this is the worst part about it, right? So obviously, this this whole year has taken X amount of time off. So it would have been a year this February just gone, right? So it will be two years in February this year. But I feel like we haven't had two years of being bleed easy, have we? Because no. we've literally had a whole of one of those years. Yeah, you know, in our houses. Yeah, up. exactly. Just being able to write and not do a lot else really. Mm. But it doesn't matter because. We're going to be coming back. And yep. the future is bright, I hope. I mean, sometimes it doesn't look like it's always bright with everything that's in the news. But you're still going to be able to play sit-down gigs. You know, at least we're not going to be completely locked in our house. Mm. Lockdown's not going to last forever. Still get out, go out, get beard up. You can do whatever you want. You know, it's not yeah, yeah. It's not all that. All Got to keep going. Exactly. And we will be back if we're not back already by the time this is coming out to your ears. Yeah. So, uh, last time we were on the show, we... Basically, uh, played a load of uh, work in progresses. I'd say was yeah. what they were, weren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and uh, so we try to uh, get a little bit of a so give everybody a bit of taste of the type of music that we work on. We can't do that every time we do it because we're doing this show every two weeks. We can always show you a little sort of work in progresses, but we're not anything we want to show you. So um, this week anyway. we're going to change it up. We're going to do something else this week. Uh, we're going to shout out some local heads. From the Cambridge area, because that is something that we really like to focus on on the show. Sort of get the word out about the music scene that we're trying to build in. Um, and yeah, something that we're, that's quite passionate for us as well. So, Nigel, I think you're probably best off to start with this one. Yeah, that's cool. So the first artist I'm going to shout out is um, Enmost. I actually made uh, Yoda with them. And also, I know Josh and Bailey, both personally, both inc absolutely incredible producers. And they're probably actually some of the best producers I've actually had the pleasure to uh, work with. Uh, the next artist I'm going to shout out, like these guys, they're grinding, they work, they're working pretty hard and they're going to be popping in, in no time at all. Um, Lamb Chop, like Rhetoric, Tyler, like them lot, I, yeah, I yeah. literally, I love their stuff. And I'm looking, I'm still looking to work with Rhetoric, but he's messaged me a few times. I'm just long, you know what I'm like? I just <laughs> had to disappear. Um, yeah, so I still need to, to hit him up. Uh, another guy as well, he's doing pretty well, is um, K Koi. We went to, well, he ended up camping with us at Naz, and yeah, he's yeah. just recently come out on someone's new project. Yeah, I literally yeah, yeah. just had it up here. Oh. Um, Mock a guy, was Moda, the last Moda? Tune I don't released. know. How to, Moda, that's yeah. it. No yeah, rest, yeah. no rest is a lot. There's yeah, a last man. on Iod. Yeah, yeah, always that, big love to K Koi. Always. Yeah, that, that, that slaps. What, yeah. about, what about you? Who you want to shout out? Me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me next. Hold on one second. I'll get my list up. You gotta get a list. Oh, oh steady. Oh, beer was nearly on literally. the laptop. <laughs> Thankfully, careers were it. literally about to end right there. I saved my life. <laughs> right. Okay, right. I've written a short list, which is hard to cut it down to. And at other points during the show, not today, but on other times, we're always going to be shouting out people and keep bigging people up. Uh, but first of all, I want to shout out an acoustic duo called Just Edward, made up of my friends Chris uh, and Tom. Uh, they make some fucking sick acoustic music, and I really, really rate their stuff. Uh, so go and check them out if you can. Uh, another good friend of mine, Oscar Corny. Check his stuff out. Uh, also, very, very top-notch. Latest track, Walk the Line. It's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, Max Judd who's a hip hop artist he hasn't got much online to look at at the moment but honestly he's got some seriously sick bars he and he he'll be coming up well, soon he? yeah and he produces yeah, and he's, I think he beat uh, Mol is it Molotov uh, uh, what? Uh, you know Molotov I think is it Molotov that, uh, the, it's high focus uh, sure it's Molotov uh, the high focus DJ mm. I think I think he beat him in a rap battle uh, not a rap battle a beat battle yeah, oh, which is pretty sick. Mm. Uh, so, so yeah, big shout out to him. Uh, also, the OTC crew, drum and bass crew, big up them. Uh, they're fucking smashing it at the moment. They're also, awesome. you know, they love their free parties and they fucking kill it with that. But you know, yeah, they are they are seriously sick DJs. And Mowgli's got some sick tunes as well. Obviously, Husky, big up Husky always. Yeah, Husky. Uh, it's bringing on swiftly to the lovely drop. Big up the lovely drop guys. They're fucking smashing it completely. Down they're straight. Uh, yeah, seriously, yeah, seriously, killing, killing it, killing it, it, man. it. 
And uh, so, yeah, I've got to definitely shout those guys out. Um, and also, finally, uh, Carson the Alley Cat, who I'm working with yes. at the moment, uh, who's an acoustic artist from Cambridge. He keeps himself low ground, but he's an absolute fucking legend. Uh, and if you if you uh, in, keep your eyes peeled in the future, you'll see some Triple Six Steve stuff with uh, with with Carson. His name is. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm going to be working with him on a track called Corella Deville, and hopefully working towards really? a, uh, a a little yeah. EP. And it's a bit trippy, bit trippy. Oh, nice. So yeah, look out for that. Right. Shout what, what, Who have I got to shout out uh, Yeah first I want to shout out My s- fellow Sabotage DJs uh, Andal RDH and Fen Nasty Miss you guys man I, I just want to get back out there And do gigs oh. with you And go back to back Just miss it just, Oh just, I can hear there. it from the heart <laughs> I can just hear the strings heart, playing heart. out of no, Just trust. cry Just cry I'll get you some tissue for the issues <laughs> Go and do it now. There you go, a little bit. More. No. More. You can wipe no. it away with his dreadlocks. <laughs> too much of a man. <laughs> too much of a man. You can never be too much of a man. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Anyhow. Uh, Swiftly moving on. Trauma DBC, shout out to him. Uh, he's making some wicked tunes at the moment. Uh, he's got his own label, which I can't remember the name of at the moment. But um, you'll put a link for it in yeah. the description somewhere or something like that to, to hit that up. There you go. Uh, yeah, he said for me to send him some, like, some stuff over on his label, so I'm going to get working on some stuff, uh, and hopefully, uh, yeah, he'll like it and dig it and put it out on his label, so it's some totally up for doing. Um, and then, yeah, I want to shout out uh, DJ Agro and the Subliminal crew that are down in Brighton, who have just uh, signed my new EP and signed me to their label. Woo! Uh, big ups to them, yeah, and just uh, him helping me out with stuff, because I'm not really that knowledgeable about, you know, all this... We're all very much working in the industry and that sort of thing, and yeah, um, so yeah, big ups to them. Uh, yeah, I think that's it for me. Nice, yeah. Nigel. I think this is your job to do. Righty, this right now. <laughs> oh, I've been waiting for a minute yeah. for this. It's kicking right. off. So our guest dun, this dun, week dun, 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 interrupt dun. me again, motherfucker. <laughs> you finna see what gonna go down? Oh, anyway, no. I'm gonna stop that again. Right. One, this is one of the guests I've been most excited about having on the show. He's also one of my best friends in the whole entire world. Um, I think we might be twins. We're just different colours, which is a bit big situations, but obviously, <laughs> don't worry about it. But um, yeah, he's an awesome producer. He also raps. He can sing, but he doesn't do it. I've heard it, though. Um, so yeah, our guest this week is none other than Zura, a.k.a. A95, a.k.a. Right Mind. AKA. King Daddy Zuzu. Welcome. So many AKAs, yeah. bro. Literally, <laughs> honestly, I can't tell you how many names I went through. Trying Alias to figure, Master. Trying to figure, yeah, bro. Honestly, AKA Mr. Nick, your girlfriend's lunchbox, bro. Oh That's my me God. as well. Oh, shit. I knew that on the side as well. You don't know about that project. That's launching uh-huh. 2026. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> you do have a lot of side projects, don't you? I do, man. And I've actually started two more this year as well, which you guys, <laughs> you, actually? You, don't, you guys don't even know about this. Well, like, we're going to know now. Nah, nah, nah. I've got to keep it discreet. I've got to keep it discreet. Fuck, that's loud exclusive. Oh, fine then. I'll let you in. Now, exclusive. I can't actually no, let it's you fine. in. Because Honestly, you there, don't there's a lot of co- complications, contractual agreements in that. Yeah, yeah. sick, sick, Get sick, me. sick. Yeah, and you've been smashing <laughs> it with your releases. Um, So what, what labels have you got tunes out on at the moment? Um, As of this year, um, Perfect Havoc, which is like, they've, they've had quite a few tunes like in the top 40. So to be a part of that, for me... Wicked. Massive deal, and I've got a couple more tunes coming out with them next year yeah. as well. Um, Stereo Hype, which is James Hype's label that he launched recently as well, nice. which is just like, you know, love James Hype, love everything he does. So for me, an, again, another massive, massive deal. Tough Love's label, Get Twisted. They've always been very good to me, uh, offering me releases. And these at, are all as, Zura? This is all the Zura stuff, yeah. yeah. So with my Right Mind stuff, it is kind of almost exclusively with Yosh at the minute, but... Okay. Um, I've got a lot of stuff that I'm sitting on. I mean, I was actually working on an album for the Right Mind Project um, from the start of this year, but due to obviously COVID and all the yeah. all the lovely stuff that we've had to deal with this year, that kind of that kind of fell apart. So now, um, so yeah, now I'm looking for for new homes for for all the records that I was basically putting towards the album because it was so varied. I had some dubstep, had some garage, had some breakbeat, drum and bass. So um, that's not going to fit. Yoshi's criteria. So starting next year, we're gonna we're gonna look to find some homes for these these tunes. Mm-hmm. Back yeah, to the drawing board, then. Yeah, Absolutely, yeah, part of the it. fun, isn't it? Oh yeah. yes. 
at least you have the you know enough mm. fingers and enough pies to be able to put yourself in that position yeah, do you know what sure. I mean oh, honestly, being able man. to spread spread your music across all these different labels and then still be interested in, not still be interested in you but be interested in you mm. and you know still being able to take one track to one person one track to another and you know you're fucking flying it, it's a, yeah it's an absolute privilege to work with some of the labels that I've been working with and uh, and you know like I've, I've been quite fortunate this year um, even though gig wise and stuff there hasn't really been anything going on I mean I've been lucky to do a few like virtual festivals and live streams and stuff like that which has been cool but um, but I've been quite fortunate with some of the links that I've made this year um, and yeah moving forward like when things open up again I think we, we're going to see some very yeah, very special so things happen you're going to be so. active too, what's your favourite genre of music to make Oh, dude. be honest because uh, I know a lot of the Zura stuff is, is house but what is actually your favourite thing to produce um, to be honest it, it's a bit of a difficult one yeah mm. because I don't do much of it but it's probably the most fun I have producing is Garage yeah like and I don't release Garage oh. at all like I've got a, I've got a few Garage tunes in the locker but um, in terms of like making it and having fun that is by far the most fun genre to make for me yeah. um, obviously I love the house stuff but like to keep things interesting from time to time like I'll, I'll just do something a bit different like um, to get myself out of writer's block I think maybe like would have been like the end of summer Yeah, like, I, I wasn't really making many tunes so I thought I'm gonna make like a metal tune like <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah Why I produce not? like Did a metal you? tune yeah yeah and yeah. I'll tell you what like it is dog shit like, have you got yeah. no, we want to hear it we yeah, want to hear it I definitely want to hear it the, we want to clip I, of that we'll put we'll two, like, oh, I'll, 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 I'll get what I can into like a link and I will send yeah, it to you yeah we want that we want that yeah that's coming up yeah yeah we'll post that on this yeah not the whole tune just the clip fuck that's loud exclusive damn it Zura's gone metal. Uh, yeah. He's gonna come. In, he's gonna go we to. Can, a, we can edit a picture of him so he looks like Gene Simmons on the front, like giving gonna, it the horns. He's gonna go back to Bristol, paint his nails black, grow out the fringe, eyeliner, was, the works. I was, I was, get yourself some triple platforms and that. You're gonna look like a bad bitch for real, bro. <laughs> that, that's the look I always wanted to be able to pull off, man. Yeah. But I just ain't got that in me, bro. Like, the, the little emo girl. Yeah, straight up, bro. Literally, I think there's nothing wrong with emo girls. Just of course no, I'll show not. you some stuff Definitely later. Not. Like there, there's new bit I'm working on because I've gone a bit metally on that so maybe we oh, can uh, love that. link on that 100% 100% like it's just all like midi guitar that's like in the box oh, with midi Logic guitar. and stuff oh, okay. and I've even like yeah because I can't play instruments like I'm pretty like shit at that so um, so everything I do is very much inside the box but there's a guitar solo in it which is a bit <laughs> do, do, do you care to explain? it's a bit weird can't, can't. So, um, so I will I will yeah I'm going to have to show you this because it's it's not my usual thing but I was having a funny five minutes and I decided you know what it's going to happen well I'll so. see you after the show I'm going I'm to hear it there okay maybe you will oh, right, well maybe you will okay fine <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I've missed you so much. I've missed you too. Honestly, <laughs> it's been such it's been such a it's fantastic twenty four hours, man. Literally just getting back in the ends, feeling the love, the positivity. It's great. Yeah, it's, yeah. This place is different. Yeah. I was actually going to bring it back to that. Actually, so you, so obviously you grew up here, right? Yeah. And this is your family home, essentially, right? Um, and then you moved to Guildford mm. to go to university. That's right. Yeah. So I went there. I was there for three years. Um, I did my degree. Um, and then I met my missus while I was there. Shout quite, out Jess. I shout love out Jess. Yeah. yeah she, what a legend. She's sick. She's wicked. And, um, and yeah, so she, she had an extra year on top of what I was doing at uni. So we stayed there for an extra year. Uh, she's from Bristol originally. I've always wanted to move there. So after that, it just made sense to, yeah. to transition over to the, to the big briz. And, and do you, is it as hyped up as it's meant to be? Oh, words can't do it justice. Like, honestly, <laughs> I mean, there's been points this year because there hasn't really been anything going on, like where I've thought, oh, like, you know, what, what's the deal? Like, why did I do this move? Like, <laughs> yeah. I can't lie. I've been thinking some madness this year, but like, it is really just like such a unique place. Like, yeah. I, I, ideally, I wanted to move to London, like, before I moved, uh, before I met Jess, I wanted to move to London after uni because I <laughs> wanted to get the big city vibes and stuff and be like in a creative hub. Um, but you get all the benefits of being in London. Um, like being in a big city and stuff in Bristol and it's just my pace as well it's a lot slower like you know people are friendlier and culturally rich it really is yeah really diverse love it honestly and so good absolutely sport for choice for nights out oh yeah. honestly <laughs> <laughs> yeah when we were trying to find that club with the green door <laughs> so basically one to, right so we went to Boomtown oh, um, a, cu a couple of years ago <laughs> and um, bless you I was watching a band called Dale's Ryland actually they're probably one of my favourite bands 
and there was this bird there and I'm like she kept looking at me and I kept looking at her somehow we you know exchanged details and that and then I went down to Bristol uh <laughs> to see her like a couple of months after so we, I went down to Bristol to see her and then we went and saw her at Elder Island then and she took me to this club there wasn't I it didn't look like a club if you're walking down a high street it's just a it was just a green door and I'm not even sure if this place was real or not anymore. And now nah, it was real. Ask yes, he can verify this shit. Walk in, like smoke machines everywhere. Go, there's scaffolding everywhere. I walked in there. I was like, this can't be legal. I want my mum. No, I didn't want them. I was like, this can't be legal. I was literally red stripes. They're selling red stripes out of like boxes, like stacked up. I think the fridge broke as well. So you're just buying like red stripes and smoke everywhere. Anyway, that's the Green Door story. And then, <laughs> and then the next time I went to Bristol to see Adam, we were walking around this city centre looking for this Green Door, like asking people, like, do you know where the club of the Green Door is? Well, I'm not did sure you ever find it? No, mate. And you I really want to, man. So there this is the legend sick. of the Green Door just, in Bristol. Just, it, it any sounds of our, like any of Boomtown. It sounds like fucking... Sorry, mate. <laughs> right, you carry on. It, it just sounds like Boomtown. That's what I was going to say. Like, it always kind of... Uh, a few people have said to me, like, it is like a boom town, like like Bristol kind of feels like that, like mm. music kind of going on like down the street and people playing mm. out their windows and down the street and stuff and just oh. random drum and bass little bits here and there. Honestly, it's so weird because like it, it could be a, a bloody school night, like it could be like a Wednesday <laughs> afternoon and I've seen this guy that he, he carries around like a shopping trolley round with him. And uh, there, there's this genre called noise music. I don't know if you're aware of it, right? But basically, I'm not aware of this noise no. music. Please Honest, tell me more. My, my boy Phil introduced me to noise music. There's your boy group- Phil that loves noise music. <laughs> <laughs> Shout yeah. out your boy Phil. Whole I hope you're listening, Phil, Philly. Honestly, he introduced me to this group called Clipping, right? And I've never heard anything like clipping, it. Clipping, that's the life. last thing you want in a track, Clipping. Bro, that's what noise music is. What, it's clipping? just clipping. Like, it's just a store. Like, what, just slam to fuck. And like this, Gabba then, or something. On, oh, but, yeah, but, but even Gabba. Isn't, oh, there's no beat there's no know. rhythm section at all like it's just distortion like feedback noise oh so just, just the sound you can go. so there is a guy in Bristol who carries around a, a shopping trolley just full of like it's not even musical equipment it's just yes. electronics yes. yeah and he just plugs in and unplugs stuff like and it just <laughs> <laughs> starts making these really strange noises what, yeah like, that's what, a good like toaster modular, that is almost not, not even modular bro like literally he's just got pieces of equipment hooked up to speakers that he's just unplugging, plugging in, twisting the cable in the port and stuff. And he's just making these weird, like, like, (laughs) it's so weird. But like, you see things like that and then you see like, you know, like five seconds down the road, you'll see another guy who's just like got a full like DJ set going on just in the middle of the street. Like, It's it's wicked, man. Like, I just love that no one really like, no one really thinks what yeah. weird guy. Like, like everyone's the, just like, yeah, that's sick. Like even the art in, in Bristol's pretty sick. Even the graffiti it always looks mm. really nice. And the city centre is really lovely, man. I, mm. re- I really like. What's that place? Cabot Circus. Is it Cabot Circus? Yeah, yeah. I remember really waiting sick. three hours for a pizza. Oh you, right? god, like, yeah. Where, where was that? Bella Italia. Was it, it was Bella Italia. How? Why did? What a poor why choice. Did that even Honestly, happen? it was oh, a poor That was what put me off. Did you go there? Because mate, we were we got of all the places you could go and get nice food. It was it was peak situations. Like we are hanging, hanging like. Hanging, hanging. And I, I think yeah, the right. only reason we actually went with that choice is because like everywhere else was like super busy and oh. this was the only place where we could sit down and the, the girl who kept coming over, like she, she was just like, oh, I'm really sorry for the wait. And it got to like two hours in and we just literally got like our drinks and the stars. And I was thinking, hang about, like we've got stuff to do. Like, why, why don't we just tell them look, like we've missed like a train to go for our job or something like that so we can try and get some compensation out of them. And I can't lie, I got some vouchers. So I was quite yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. So I was just like, but yeah. that was ridiculous. That was not normal. Something must have gone seriously wrong. Like, yeah, isn't, yeah it won't. I good. remember I went to the Bella Italia in Cambridge but I was on a date and it was one of our first dates one of my exes so I was just like I'm, I'm going in the toilet and throwing up but I think that was because of anxiety <laughs> 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 it wasn't a food food was probably fairly decent and yeah well. when she looks at me I feel sick <laughs> I don't like making eye contact with her <laughs> Just a nervous wreck. <laughs> just shaking under the table. Like, are you all right, Ben? Mom's like, pick, like, picking up the, like, picking up your water. Just like, I'm just going to go outside for a minute. <laughs> for a cigarette. Why is your voice breaking? Oh, no, it's, not, it's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on in this toilet? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Right, okay. Yeah. Let's just move it swiftly on from that <laughs> conversation. Uh, right, we're going to talk a little bit more about Big Man Zura. Oh, Zuzu. Oh, Zubag. Right. Zuzu. 
we, we want you to, uh, we do want a little bit of an exclusive. It might not have to be an exclusive, but we want the information from your mouth, which I hope you haven't given to anybody else in, a, in their podca- Use podcast. Use that mouth, boy. Uh, so we want to hear one of your uh, most recent projects. Yeah. Uh, fucking tell us about uh, yeah, one of them and, and introduce the track. Yeah, sure. So this is, um, yeah, I mean, the first track that I want to kind of show off um, is one called Dirty Sprite, which... Yeah, for those who don't know what That's Dirty Sprite is, just go and Google it. Like, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do that right now. But yeah, it is just like, I don't know, it's like re-revealed. recently okay. I've just started like getting like all the like, all these like trap and drill vocals and stuff like, and I just love putting it over house music because it shouldn't work, but it works. Uh, I wrote a funky bass line to it and it's going to be my first release of 2021. So I want you guys to check this out. I hope you like it. I think it's hella funky, uh, but we'll, we'll see what you think. This is my track, Dirty Sprite. That was Dirty Sprite. Yeah, that's weighty. Wow. I love the, I love the, I love the, I love the, the auto tune. Um, next time you need something like that, shout <laughs> me. Obviously, man. Obviously, I'll hit you up still. <laughs> no, seriously, that's a fucking big tune. And when's you say that's coming out? Uh, later this month, 29th of January. So uh, later so yeah. this month. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we're cross cross referencing. This is recorded in December, but the tune <laughs> is coming. The tune is coming out in January. Yeah. <laughs> so that's that sorted, and um. So the next tune we want you to show us is a tune that you're most proud of. The tune I'm most proud of. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll go yeah, with that yeah, 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 yeah. Well, to be honest, like my man sat across from me right now, Triple Six Steve, con- contributed to this tune in a way that a big way I didn't think was possible, man. Like when big I made way. the instrumental for this, I was like, okay, I mean, it's cool, but. I'm going to need something special, and like we bounced backwards and forwards with a few different instrumental ideas. And you're like, nah, this 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 one's not quite right, blah blah blah. When I sent this one to you, <laughs> surprise, like, this, surprise, they started off being more bassliney. <laughs> to be right. fair, yeah, yeah surprise, right. surprise. I know, I know, I know. I'm a picky man. I'm sorry. Connor picky, no. Connor picky, no. That guy's not here. No. <laughs> <That guy's, laughs> no, it's it's got to be top notch if you're going to do it. That's all I'll say. Honestly, not yeah. saying that those weren't top notch. They just weren't top notch for me. Oh no, nah, it's cool, man. For me to be able to well, do that's, my thing. That's fucking rude. Not my opinion, as in like it's not top notch for me to be able to do my shit on. Do you know what I mean? You know, different people suit different things. Don't hundred percent. Sure. And I'm so glad that we, we you know, just, we, we got this one written and recorded and turned around and made into what it is now. Because, yeah, like for me personally, it's like the tune that I just think is like the best piece of work that I've been a part of. Like, and yeah. Like, radio ready already. It's radio ready. It's just like, to me, it's like when, when I listen back to stuff, because I'm constantly like listening back to stuff and thinking, oh, what could I do better? There's not many comments. It's literally like, a perfect record. That's what I said. When I first <laughs> heard it, I was like, this is literally a perfect record. I think I'm more excited about it coming out than fucking both of you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm for sure. Oh, literally, I man. appreciate I've the kind words so though, many it's, times. It's, 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 sure, honestly, sure. this is, the, for me as well, it's definitely one, it's, mm. it's the one that I think I'm the most proud of as well. And it's, yeah. and it's, um, it's, I don't know, it's, it's a completely different vibe to my other stuff and it's a completely different vibe to my other other stuff. If yeah, you know, like, yeah. Suits your vocal though. Suits your yeah, vocal. Yeah, yeah, nice. yeah. And I, I really, I really, and it was one of them that wrote itself. Do you remember? Mm. Yeah, you, it was you such a quick turnaround. So, so Adam sent me the beat the night before um, and then I listened to it. I didn't even listen to it that day and then on the in the morning I listened to it through my phone as I woke up, did all my shit in the daytime, working, etc. And then it got to the evening of that night, did all of my evening stuff, just sitting about lunch, about eating food, dossing, you know what it is, you know what it's like. <laughs> and then, um, so then it got to about eight, nine o'clock and I was like, you know what, actually, I, I started, I'm going to listen to that beat for, that Adam sent me and I listened to it and, and it was one of those where it was like, 
like I said in the the last episode, I'll just hum and listen to it. But this came so quick, and it was like, as soon as that came into my head, it was like, game on, right? Okay, I've got something there, and then and then I just sort of get like sort of built from that. And it, it, it honestly, it come sort of midnight. I was my voice was so hoarse. <laughs> I've been sitting there like singing these songs over and over and over. And then I finally I sent you like a little video, and I sent it to Nigel. I was like, Nigel, I'm I'm not gonna lie, mate. I'm really really fucking happy with this <laughs> I think and I've written the best song I've ever written no it's hard yeah. man it's hard and I'm look. I'm actually I'm excited for everybody to hear this little clip actually this is gonna be a heater 2021 yeah Jeez. this is yeah. yeah this is gonna be big I just remember like practicing it and you kind of turning up with the beat and that and then we put it on and I was just like fuck yeah. <laughs> I need to work did you on my feel mix threatened? <laughs> I need to work did on my mix did you feel threatened by the zoo bag <laughs> I need to work on my We're all friends here, guys. We're all <laughs> friends here, guys. I was joking. Everybody's sorry, got their own skills. For fuck's sake. I'm sorry. Anyway, Adam, do you want to introduce this one? Yeah, so I hope I'm pronouncing this right. <laughs> this is um, Right Mind and Triple Six Steve Papillon. Right here, right now. Enjoy. You got my attention. Wish I could say the same for you. You've relearned those lessons. You're misguided fool With the weeping in the darkness And a cold feel of a park bench The white shine and a repress Where broken friends be repossessed, yeah Be repossessed, yeah And now I live out my nightmares I'm scraping down the roof Thank you. Thank you so much. That Banger. means a lot. Cheers, guys. No worries. Uh, yeah, so we're going to uh, do this. Uh, it's called New Old and Unheard. Yeah, boy. Uh, it's back. So we, <laughs> make three second, tracks. Second debut. Second, <laughs> second appearance. Second appearance, yeah. This part so of the show. Part so show. Uh, who wants to go first? Yeah? Uh, uh, I reckon we should start with a guest. Yes, let's. Yeah, so let's start with a guest. What's your New Old and Unheard? Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. Shit. Um, so what we just doing like a just a record uh, or so a like record? Each, yeah, and the, 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 the sort of like new is this something year. new mm. that you're listening to. Oh right, okay. I mean, like the for my new then, um, my boy who I used to live with when I was at Guildford, Giles. He's now part of a duo mm. called Royal Hustle, who okay. are it got a very very particular sound um and i think they're going to do real bits they're what sort of music it's it's kind of like it's a mix between like it's it's basically slow trance but like in a housey style um so it's it's really interesting if you've heard artists like camel fat um and stuff like that then it's kind of a similar similar vibe to that um and yeah their new track forever just came out on new state music which is a, a huge label they've got a great vocalist on board and that for me is one of my favourite tracks of the year, like, and, you know, it just so happens to be someone that I know that's produced it, so. Yeah, I find that's often the case, you know, like, mm. there's pe like people that are local to you that, you know, you find their music or people that you're friends with, you actually, f you have more of an attraction to their music. Mm. 100%. Like, you know, if, if you know the artist and you've got that sort of yeah, friendship or relationship with them. Personal thing on it. I yeah, 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 yeah. Word I was searching for then. <laughs> <laughs> touch. Another word. Well, touch. Yeah, yeah personal touch. You I know, know what you mean. That you, you, being being mates with someone always makes you sort of that little bit more yeah. inclined to like check out their shit or have a little yeah. bit of a I'm still yet to check out. Yeah. Just stuff, a little bit. Mm. Yeah, so that's, so that's your that's your new. Mm. Uh, what's your what's your old? My old. What you going Something I've been bumping a lot be recently. A lot recently. I've been listening to loads of Muse. Again. Oh, no way. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, yeah very oh, interesting, well, We recently been in a band called The Varsity and our bassist oh. used to love Muse. Yeah, man, Honestly, they fan. are like, to me, like they're the best. Like they're my favorite band. Like of <laughs> really? All time. What a shout. I did not know. I did not know that. Are they really? Dude, they're so sick, bro. Like, and yeah, I'll tell you it. what, it was only, it would have been like last summer or something. They were playing at Ashton <clears> Gate in Bristol, which is literally around the corner from my house here. Yeah. And, like so basically they had the Spice Girls there recently and sh and stuff like that yeah but like 
I think it was after that, Muse were there, and I could literally see drones flying oh around my from my yard, and I could hear it. And you know, I got that massive rugby yes, pitch yes, just yes, outside. Yes, yes, yes. I was just sat out there jamming to the tunes on my own at like stupid <laughs> o'clock in the evening. <laughs> Honestly, like. Sorry, just adding, <laughs> I was just, I was just adding some backing music. Hold on, let's keep it going. We don't need these jingles anymore. <laughs> Be victorious. Bow wow! Nice. Well, anyway, we'll get onto that later. <laughs> <laughs> don't we, Nigel? Won't we? Uh, uh, oh, yes, we will, we will. So that was your old. What's your un- unheard? Unheard. Ah, oh, I'm going to give it a, a Unheard shout. is always hard. Yeah. For you. Oh, man, but man. Th- this is like seriously unheard because it's not even out. But when it comes out, like, it, I swear to God, it's going to blow people's minds. Um, it's my boy Sovereign, uh, my boy Charles from Bristol. Um, it's a new project that he's starting next year. And I'm not exaggerating. Like, when it comes to, like, the level of production on his new records, like, it's up there with the standard of Pendulum and stuff like yeah, that. I've, like, heard, I've, heard, bits, I've, it, I've heard some of that album. Really? It's hard. It's it's hard. Hard. He's doing oh, man, something you with... You send me that across when you can. Oh, 100%. I mean, they, you they, have to ask him first. <laughs> yeah, that's why I asked him. I said, I, when you I'll can. have to get permission from the main man himself, but I'm sure yeah, it'll be course. blessed. But he's doing things with drum and bass that I don't think anyone else is doing like now. Cause for me personally, um, it's a lot of wanky jump up and rollers at the minute. And there's, there's a way to make hey, it hey, sound. Bro, that, that, that clip that I heard of yours from the last show for me is like, hey, it, that, hey, that's, in, that's in the same category because there's something epic and cinematic about it. Like for me personally, like, I love jump up. I love these rollers and the foghorn stuff. I love it. Like, but bit of depth. Th- th- yeah, there's not enough depth. I think like it's it's just a bit. It's just a, it's just a bit one level with this new project that that's coming out. Sovereign. Like every single track is cinematic. It's got like metal influences in there as well. Uh, like crazy guitar solos, and it's still going to work on in a rave, and still going to work in a dance floor. Like it's just incredible. I can't nice. wait for people to hear it. Like, like I'm more excited than he is. Like Sick, I can't lie. <laughs> Oh, wicked. I hear I've actually got a tune on yeah. that. I've actually finished writing. Yeah, I mean, you, you I should finish that. Bro. I will finish it <laughs> one day. One I will. Day. One so day that's indeed. your new old and heard. Right. Um, let's go. Ben, you go next. What's your new one? Yeah. Uh, new old and heard. Oh, me. Okay. Uh, me. All right, then. Go on then. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> uh, new track. Uh, yeah, it's a new track by uh, Serum. It's a roller. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no. It's just really catchy. It's just been in my head. It's just, it's called riffs. And the riff is just. Is that guitar, yeah? No, no, no. It's what, yeah, it, that's what you'd call yeah, a guitar yeah. riff. But that's what the tune's called. Uh, and it's just a really catchy riff. It just gets stuck in your head. And the drums are really, uh, they're, they're jungly, but they roll nice. And it's just got a really nice groove to it. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that's my. What was that yeah, song that called out. again? Sorry, riffs, riffs. by, riffs by Serum. Serum. I was about to say it's not, it's not out yet. It's not officially released. It's, it's on Spotify at the moment, but I think the official release is on thirty first of December, I think, or something like that. Always big ups to Serum, man. He's big ups, Serum. Absolutely kills it. Yeah, he's, he is heavy. just a uh, kings of the rollers. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You get his unrivaled, doesn't he? This <laughs> except maybe voltage. Yeah, well, yeah, that kind yeah. of. Uh, you know, they're, they're they kings the together. Kings. They're the kings, man. They're the kings within the civil civil partnership. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, you can't have a king and a queen. You have king, king, and king, don't you? There's a three way civil partnership. Oh, king, king, and at king. The Do you head know? Head of drum what? and bass. King, king, and king. And you can't yeah. forget about injuries. K, K. I'm not going to say. Oh, that wait, no, no, no. I was joking. I was joking. Oh my god, everybody, calm the fuck down. Okay. Okay. Bombed we're all friends down. here oh that didn't God, sit well with me job. I'm actually really embarrassed to be in the room with you <laughs> <laughs> I was joking I probably definitely shouldn't have said that but I couldn't help it <laughs> well, well that caused an uproar I can't even remember what made him say it now it was, King, uh, kings King, of Rollers. Oh, kings, kings, kings. kings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you can say it again. Just my sp- <laughs> I was going to say, I was going to say another <laughs> offensive word, but I can't oh, say. Oh, you not, the, not in that way. I was going to say spaz, but I don't know if that is, <laughs> like, <laughs> is that offensive. <laughs> oh God! It's because Dan said the R word last time, and I don't know how far we're allowed to go on it. I mean, I'd, I'd happily say the C word. You know, what I'm going to say. <laughs> oh, my ears oh, are bleeding. I'm sorry, guys. I would never say it seriously, but I had to say it just to, you know, yeah. prove a point. Everybody has their urges, after all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, God. Sorry, right, anyway, geez. away from your urges. On, um, on to Ben. Old. Old. Uh, old, yes. old. It's better right. be old this time because it little, is little, old, peep, yeah. is, little peep was not that old. Not really, yeah, no, true. But, but I just I'd all right, put me on the spot a little bit. That was that. It's fine. It was old enough to count as old without us. Okay, this is this is old. 
Ozzy Osbourne, my mum coming home. Oh. I, I keep putting that on recently. Aaron! Uh, it's shit on the fucking floor! <laughs> <laughs> the dog shit on the fucking floor again, Sharon! <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Sorry, oh, no, you no. love Aussie. You love Aussie. Aussie, Aussie yeah, Osborne, yeah, well, you like, prefer his solo stuff, don't you? I do. Yeah, um, his kind of eighties, nineties sort of, um, I guess what we'd call it, hair metal kind of. Hair with, metal. Um, yeah. Randy Rhodes and yeah, um, man, that Poor kind of Randy era. Like Black Sabbath for sick, but uh, for, like for me at the moment, I think what I'm just digging. Rhodes? Mate, it's Randy Rhodes. Wrong with that. Randy Rhodes died in a plane crash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really young is. What band was he in? It was with Ozzy. Uh, it was, he, yeah, it was like Ozzy's famous. Guitarist. It was called Ozzy Osbourne, uh, and then they got uh, Zach Wilde, I think, after that. Yeah, uh, that's yeah, it. yeah. They were like the band under the name, sort of like Marilyn Manson. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah. So that's the old track, uh, unheard. Uh, I'm gonna go pretty fucking heavy with this. It's, there's a band called Disfiguring the Goddess. Jesus, <laughs> <laughs> fucking <laughs> Christ! <laughs> oh God. Uh, a song again. called Soothe. Uh, it came out recently. <laughs> oh, I think I know this song actually. Dan played it yesterday. Yeah, because I sent it to him. It was. I'm not gonna lie. I like heavy metal music, Great. guys, but this was by far one of the worst things I've ever heard in my life. And when oh, I say that, not I'm, worse. I'm, no, 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 I'll no, no. I'm that. saying as in like it is. Do you want to do an impression of what it sounds like? Oh, no, that's right. Well, Connor, if you, if you need, you I've got a level one B tech and exorcism. So I'll sort you out. Nigel, please do. You need to, <laughs> you need to make it around to fucking Danny Blackheart's house now after the stuff he was talking about last yeah, week. There's a, yeah. For anyone that hasn't listened to last week's episode, please check it out with Danny Blackheart. And you'll understand. But yeah, so what? 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 how, how did you find those guys? Uh, I used question. to watch a YouTube channel called Cam Every Day, and there's this guy called Big Chocolate who also makes a lot of electronic music. I know it's just funny. Proper metal so name. No, it sounds like some sort of porn thing. Yeah. There's, this Big guy, Chocolate. there's this guy called Big Chocolate. Uh, I seen him outside He's the motel. <laughs> <laughs> he tried to sell me some moonshine. He bootlegged it himself. Sorry, bro. <laughs> <laughs> big oh, sorry, chocolate. Guys. Big chocolate. Are you guys number? <laughs> sorry, that's, that's the end of that. I haven't. No. You've got him Instagram though. So you got him on up. the Insta, yeah. Mm, mm, Don't mm. think you're selling anything you want. <laughs> <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Oh, what are you saying that, that? <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. I said oh, that was a good yeah, 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 See, Shit. Nigel's always joking. That's the worst part of it. Uh, no, I'm serious. Right. Yeah, that's, that's, that's me. That's I'll me. Shoot. Right. Oh. Uh, you can go next this time. Hold on one sec. I've got to get my list back out. Get the list out. Mm. Right. First, for my... Uh, <laughs> Getting this down. <laughs> oh, God. Honestly, sometimes you really do put me off. <laughs> what? You're, what? Just, you're just a distraction, 24-7. Right, I did nothing. I right. did nothing. Okay, back to the new old unheard. My new, new my new track is a band called Every Time I Die. Have heard of them before? Oh, no. I have, I yes. they're, they're also a heavy band. Uh, they're like hardcore, sort of like more screaming highs than lows. How long uh, have they been about for? Years. Yeah. Long, years, long, yeah. long time. Did they but start off kind of metalcore? Yeah, they? I think so. No, no, no. I think they've always been there. They're always fucking been like, they're not like, um, they're not like chuggers. Like, you know, like, I don't know. Like, not they, like There's no breed. singing in it or anything, anything like oh. that. It's, it's like, it's just... Do you know what I mean? Yo, I like, could fuck with that. To be fair, that sounds sick. Just going off that. It's, it's, <laughs> I want to hear that. I, I, I wish we could give you a go at the screaming exercise, but you know, it's, it's been done. We've got something else in store for you later on in oh, this geez. episode. Yeah, so. uh, but yeah, "Desperate Pleasures" is the song that I'm choosing by Every Time I Die. Uh, then I, I listen to their album New Junk Aesthetic a lot. That's about the one that I listened to most in the past. And it's, it's and I saw them live, and they're just so high energy. Like their their shows are like notoriously high energy. Everybody's going mental, kicking people in the head, that sort of thing. Beautiful, Mule flying kicks. around the audience. You know, you know, one of them when people doing are all the, jumping on the stage and like everyone's the jumping off, nails, doing the windmill. Yeah, yeah. Oh, jeez. Uh, so so that's that. That's your new uh, old uh, old. Um, my old that I'm going to go for is uh, a band from Cambridge called Lonely the Brave. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, who I am a big fan of. Uh, and I'm also old. a big fan of their. Yeah, they're not that old, but they're sold enough <laughs> that it's not new. Do you know what I'm saying? Jack so it's anything. Anyway, this is an old. This is from their first, de their debut album, uh, Control. Uh, is the song it's called. It's on the extended edition. It's a song that escaped me for years and that's the reason why I'm putting it in here because I, Lonely the Brave, that <laughs> album, in my eyes, is probably one of the only albums I'd say that is perfect. Wow. And I'm, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm a massive fan. Yeah, shout out to Mo, shout out to Dave as well, both of those guys. They're both, like, Mo's still carrying on in Lonely the Brave. Their new stuff is unreal and very epic. Dave's stuff is uh, a lot slower 
uh, but still just so haunting. His voice is just yeah. perfect. I like, I like his literature. You know, his honesty, man. I was listening to his his, his latest uh, EP slash album. It's like a long EP earlier on today, and it's just unreal. Mm. Um, and and it's it's just a lot slower, but his voice and his lyrics are just bang on still. And Lonely the Braves, like new stuff, it's still really epic with the music, and 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 also their new singer's awesome. Uh, but the song I chose is Control. Uh, so check that out if you haven't heard it before. Uh, and my unheard uh, is coming from a young Cambridge lad who is also went to school with us uh, called Dennis, Dennis Penny Torrey. Yo! Uh, Denny Torrey yeah, is, yeah. is his name. And the track is called Same. Um, I didn't feature him earlier on in the people who were shouting out. Like I said, we're not going to shout out too many artists at once from, from the Cambridge era. But yeah, him in particular, I wanted to pick for this one because he's unheard. I really want to um, work with him as well. Honestly, sure. man, he's he like Jimi Hendrix. Uh, he's like Jimi hendrix but a little bit more solely. Like it's... You know, Jimmy sort of had the more hard hitting, whereas mm. this is a lot more smooth and like, I don't know, but he's still got, there's something about his voice, raspy oh, tones man. that hits it the same. Um, I'm actually going to say that I'm going to play this song right now uh, because I doubt they'll have a problem with us doing that. So yeah. Ooh, if yeah, you guys cool. are happy to hear yeah, it, yeah, no, it, yeah, let's do it. it. So Danny Torre, same. That's mine. Yeah, that's no, that new is old. seriously sick. That you know is that seriously, seriously you know sick. That that Wait, Denzel, if you listen, if you listen to this, I finna hit you up. Yeah, seriously, Please man. Don't we're, me we're, all, we're all big fans. So, uh, <laughs> who did you, who did you say you compared him to? Sorry, like, Jimmy you, Hendrix. Jimmy Hendrix. Yeah, right, no, okay, okay. Even yeah, the cool. guitar playing. Yeah, no, it's yeah, no. But I'd say more, more so the, uh, the voice and the certain the way. The style. That's a different decision. Does he play? Is he playing? Sing? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah, writes. Yeah. I, know, I think he writes the whole song as, as well. And you know, I think it's a really you know well written song. It's not your standard just funky rhythm. It's pretty damn yeah, good. Yeah, no, cool, man. So that's your new old and her done, isn't it? Right, so mine's a bit weird. Right, so my new is a new tune that I've just been listening to because I found it on the Colours show. Have you heard of Colours? They do like loads of live sessions. They've got green screen and it's like Colours. Oh, so what was it? It's a colour show. It's a YouTube. Uh, oh, YouTube. I've heard of it before. Oh, bro, sick. Oh, really? oh, yeah, I'll link you up. Yeah, yeah. And also the link, uh, just just to drop this in right now really quickly. Sorry to interrupt. No, no, do you think uh, In our comments on the uh, all, of, uh, all of our podcasts, so uh, whether you're listening on Spotify, Apple, uh, or YouTube, if you look in the comments, anything that we discuss, we put the links in there. So all the tunes by Zura that are available uh, will be up on there. Uh, anything that we can put on there that we talk about, like links, we can put it all in there so that you can look on it, click on it straight away. With ease, we've done the hard work for you. Back to Hybrid MP. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's a, a tune called Venom by Little Sims. Mm. Uh, I showed it to Zura last night. The beat is greasy as fuck. Her lyricism, her literature, her flow, it is literally Venom. Like it says on the tin, Venom. Like, I like the sound. Oh, mate. Yeah. I've been told by a lot of people to listen to her. Oh, now. Little Sims. And I've, 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 heard, I've only heard one track. Uh, I can't remember the name of that track. Uh, oh, uh, my life just... been a black sheep. Oh, my life been a black sheep. I don't, then, know, I don't know. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, I think Joe, I think uh, Fen Nasty showed me it quite yeah. a long time ago. It's, um, it's the flow for me on oh that track. Mate, it's even ridiculous. the lyrics, oh bro, ridiculous. Like, yeah, we'll put yeah that that if anyone listens to this and you want to check, especially especially like even like for girls or females, if you want to hear like a serious fucking spitter that as a female, you want to put this shit on. She's mm. absolutely incredible. Actually, yeah. gets me buzzing even I'm talking about it. That. And um, so that's my new, um, my old. 
is o- Otis Redding, Dock of the Bay. I've, oh, I've, been, that, I've been playing that so much recently because oh. I've been listening to a band called the Black Pumas quite a lot and it's, he sort of came up with suggestion and I just had, uh, no, it's because uh, they Beautiful. did a cover of it and then I started listening to the original and it's, it's sick. I absolutely love yeah. it. No, it's sick. It always comes up in my head. I was always singing it oh, like a random man. time. It, come, it pops, it's, it's one of them songs that pops up in your head. And I oh, know, man. I've, I've not been able to stop listening to it. I fucking love it. I sing it in the shower. Yeah. I love it so much. So that's my old. Right. So my unheard is is this, it, is this what the one that I'm going to be yeah, shocked yeah, yeah. by? It was going to be old, but it's kind of old and unheard. Yeah, you know <laughs> what I mean. Anyway, <laughs> so is it, is it right? Are you okay, ready? I'm ready. He's told me that it apparently is. I'm I'm, I'm going to be really excited about this. The King Blues. Oh, how far oh, does that take shit. you back? Yeah, I know. So I didn't even know which tune to pick. Oh this. my god! So I decided to go with the future's not what it used to be. Only because I just love. That's a tune. I love, mate. It, the sax or the trumpet in it. Uh, I remember when we were in year a eleven. Beautiful, bro. I was listening to that the other day. I can't. Uh, it, actually, I've been listening to that quite a lot recently as well. It's fucking sick. It's just. Whoa, a oh, the future's not what it used to be. Uh, oh man, it's a beautiful, beautiful record. So yeah, that's my unheard, but it's Wicked. kind of old. Literally, oh, that's yeah. so. That has definitely put a smile how, on my face. How old? Uh, no, is it then like if you say it's old? Like I mean, that, we were listening um, to what was it, like year 11, yeah, that was coming out when we were in year 11, so 2012, yeah. So they're kind of old, 2012. And sort of, 2012, oh, okay, yeah. yeah. So they're kind of old and sort of unheard. They're not like they're not, they were never massive, massive, even no, when because uh, again, Christian Jones, Christian Jones showed yeah, them to he you loved them. first. Christian Jones of Just Edward, by the way, that's shout yeah, out yeah, to Chris. yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, that's my um, yeah, that's my unheard. Um, yeah, yeah, they they yeah, well, Wicked. yeah, good shout, nice, nice. Yeah. I um, I saw them at Download Festival a few years ago actually, and I think maybe I saw them before, I can't remember. But they are yeah, wicked man. They're a nice nice little uh, blast from the past there, Nigel. Yes. Well done. I try, I try, I try. Right then. Adam, there's a couple of bits we want to talk to you about. Come on then. Come on then. <sighs> God, I don't know how to bring myself to say it. Oh no, don't bait me out. <laughs> <laughs> I've done some bad honestly, things. Honestly, honestly, it's absolutely <laughs> nothing to worry about at all. Fantastic. I was just trying to scare you. <laughs> uh, so the question that I've got, the one thing that I want to bring up, I'm sure Nigel and Ben have got their own couple of things that they want to bring up, but mate, your social media game is just so strong. I was one of them. Really? I was one of mine. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, mate. Just, just right. Give give some sorry. people some ex- an example of the type of shit that you put on Instagram uh, and the things that you can use as examples to spread your word. You know what? Yeah, I don't know, man. I just, I just think that, so, unfortunately, social media is such a big thing now, like, and it really can make or break, like, an artist or a brand, I think. So, um, like things like memes and stuff like that. Like I take, I just take popular memes and I try and like make it relatable to a release I've got coming out or stuff like that. Or, um, I don't know. I just think that there's, there's something about social media that it's just, you know, it's an underutilized weapon when it comes to like marketing and promo. Mm. I see a lot of people that don't post enough. Some people that post too much, uh, and the people that are posting just the right amount of stuff, but not stuff that people can relate to or engage with. Yeah. So I spent yeah. like a solid year trying to figure out the social media machine and I'm uh-huh. still trying to figure it yeah. out. But um, it's not, the thing is with social media is, yeah, I think we, we've had this conversation this week yeah. between ourselves, right? So um, the thing with social media is, is it's very much a, I didn't want to be on social media mm. as much when I was not doing Steve sure, and yeah. not doing Sabotage, but it was like when I, had to that is the you're ultimately your biggest tool isn't it right 100% right, no, yeah, um, especially the times that we're in we can't gig we can't do none of yeah. that so literally mm. yeah the internet is literally one of your best friends at the moment yeah definitely and and but the thing that made me ask the question to you in particular is because you make stand up posts and you make it so <laughs> it makes no but it is though it's funny <laughs> no, I'm trying good. to think of a good example but I you know like when the world on cup's on or things like that you oh, know he always makes something that's relevant like a newspaper article that's changed <laughs> by the way make sure you check out Zura <laughs> I'll tell you what, um, it's funny you mentioned the World Cup because when the World Cup was on, I did do quite a big thing um, and I was convinced that I was going to get killed. Uh, <laughs> what? what? Um, so ba- <laughs> basically, like um, Eng- England got through to the semi-finals of the World Cup a few years ago and I was hammered and I thought, you know what, now would be a wicked time. The World Cup's in Russia. I'm going to send a card to Vladimir Putin. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I sent him a card saying football's coming home. Um, 
and I had to look real hard to get the address for the, the Kremlin, the Moscow Kremlin. But I got oh, it. Yeah. Not strippers yeah. like Kremlin on an envelope, no. And I needed to make sure that I knew when it had been received, and I got the notification to say that it had been signed for and received, but I didn't get nothing back. Obviously, and I'm not being funny yet. Like when I when I saw that it, it had been received, I thought. Oh no, like I really regret <laughs> yeah. doing that now because like this was just like just after like some like Russian spies like Novichok, poisoned yeah. someone. Yeah, the Novichok thing. Yeah. I was oh, thinking shit. shit, someone's gonna come oh Novichok me up because I said <laughs> Novichok no, no, no. me up. And, uh, and People will never come home. <laughs> <laughs> but Russian blood bleeds. <laughs> It's get, nice, but it's not a Rolex. You know? uh, it's nice, you know. It's nice, and not get, a Rolex. You're gonna get Putin like coming out. You're topless on a bear, just coming out with a <laughs> yeah, fucking yeah. With, his, with his fucking with Kalashnikov with all his yeah. bears behind him. Is like oh, Kalashnikov. He sent me back Berlin. It's gonna be dangerous <laughs> now. Stop, stop, stop. Oh stop. yeah, no, yeah. We <laughs> well, yeah, I we actually, I'll tell you what. Funny story on that foot picture. Um, the, the you know the Putin yeah, on the yeah, bear, yeah, right? Yeah. I wrote. <laughs> Stupidly, now this is not my opinions, but I wrote filthy fucking Russians, which is what they put in Snatch. Is it filthy fucking Russians? Yeah, or that's right. He says he says something like that, doesn't he? Your body, body's the blaze, right? Yeah, so yeah. I put that on sneaky fucking sneaky, Russians. Sneaky, that was it. Yeah, right. Sneaky. So I wrote that, and I got a, a, a. You only get two chances on Facebook. I've got one of them taken off of me now. <laughs> Have you actually? Yeah, because I wrote that saying that it was insensitive towards Russian people. Oh. So to all my Russian fans, I want to make it quite clear right now. I love you all, and you're leaving. Is a dictator. They can't silence us. <laughs> but you got a Russian. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Who's got a bulletproof vest? This is oh, not the. Shit. This is not the. The opinions of bleed easy. I'm just, I'm just waiting for the just, laser sight. Right, I'm going, going now, now, guys. I'll see you later. Yeah, just that's all. That's all. What so, was the question again? <laughs> Um, no, it was just talking uh, about yeah, social, social media. Yeah, social, social media. media. Oh, in t to do with social media, another thing that we all fucking loved, and I've actually watched this clip <laughs> so many fucking times. That audio oh. house that we played, and everything got always got got oh. shut down. Oh. That, that video, it went like okay, it didn't go viral, but it, it got thousands and thousands of few, views. It got a few views. Yeah, yeah, it got thousands and thousands of views. Like, so yeah, this, like, um. Uh, what was it? It's not a party, was it? Like this event, yeah. There was an event in St. Ives. Yeah, this event, mm. like, there's, this event's on in St. Ives. And, uh, you know, there was loads of fighting, rah, 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 shit. It, it just went west, unfortunately. You know, we were really looking forward to yeah, playing we that were as buzzing well. and we appreciate and the promoters. Yeah, yeah exactly, song, for it, sure. It, basically, everything that could have gone wrong that wrong accidentally went wrong, didn't it? So, <laughs> so for us, we were shitting ourselves all day, really nervous for this, for this final set. Like we was pretty early in the bleed easy got days. I didn't even come out till ten o'clock. Got through the like the mellow stage of the set, or not the mellow stage. Yeah, yeah the was, calm. It was the calm building up. Storm. It was building up. I remember going to drop all of our fights everywhere. Like, Shut down. Yeah. <laughs> oh, honestly, Peak situations. You know what was funny about that clip in particular? Like yeah. something that I think. Explain what well, happened yeah, in yeah, the clip. So actually, <laughs> you explain. You explain what so happened in the ba clip. Basically, in the clip, it's only about like 10, 15 seconds long, and um, what is it? The um, the security before before the video started the security had come up to me and he was just like oh i think we're going to shut the place down now and stuff like that so you might want to think about stopping the music and i just turned around and i was just like i'm not going to stop the music like there's you know there. yeah there's people dancing still like i'm here to do a job so i'm just going to do that he fucked off anyway it just so happened someone was recording when this happened he's come back and he said look you need to turn it off now there's police outside and they will arrest you and i was like for playing music like, i'm here to do a job and he was just like no you need to turn it off now so i thought you know what i'm going to play ball pulled the fader down <laughs> the whole room is booing like going boo and then i already had it planned on the next deck that i was just going to go straight in with some temper tea like it weren't even the same temper as what <laughs> i was playing <laughs> it was so funny man and and yeah and like literally the camera just like pans across to the security guard he's just looking at me like it was, it was the fact <laughs> that you're oh. your finger your finger went up like a roller coaster you know stealth <laughs> at, at thought part his finger went up and down in a point in motion like Goodbye. We'll post that. We'll post that clip on the uh, fuck that slow page as well. Yeah, it's absolutely fucking that. quality. You but had some NWA lined up or something. Oh, <laughs> dude, you know what? Yeah, literally, like the temper tea was all I had, and I thought if I can start it on the baby, because that's quite yeah, an iconic oh, little yeah, vocal yeah, sound yeah. when it goes baby straight into a temper tea verse. But the thing that when I watched that video, the funniest thing for me is obviously James was there, and like all day he was like, I'm gonna. I'm going to MC over your set. I was just like, okay, that's cool. Um, and there was no mic. There was no mic there for him to MC. And I was just like, okay. And he was just like, I'm going to go find a mic. And I'm about... 
30 minutes into my set and he finally finds a mic and as he's plugged it in that's when the security guy has come and he's been running around the whole venue looking oh. for this mic as well and I was just like oh sorry it's not going to happen now dude and then he gave me a big hug when I did the music thing so it actually worked out alright should have done the headphone <laughs> trick no, I've seen a few MCs do that it what? sounds yeah. terrible when you plug your headphones yeah. into the mic out or the yeah, mic in it just looks really stupid but yeah. it sounds terrible but yeah, it's a way that you can do it if you don't have a mic yeah. <laughs> but I wouldn't never, recommend yeah, it yeah, never recommend <laughs> it sounds it terrible anybody. please don't ever do that uh, right uh, aliases yeah aliases is, why? Is, yeah, is, is, is. Uh, so I obviously mean, we've heard a right mind oh, tune oh. we've heard a Zura tune yeah that's right before that I was doing A95 which was primarily hip hop and stuff like that I had a, a uh, I had an alias before that called Anonymous which I actually I remember that. genuinely wanted to keep Anonymous but then I thought hang on no one knows who the fuck I am and so anonymous like, are how am anonymous. I going to promote this like so I thought I'll step out of that and do the A95 I started something new earlier this year which no one's heard anything from I'm and gonna I'm hear gonna, that today. I'm, no, I'm gonna keep After it. The show. I'm gonna keep it. Oh, that mate, way. watch okay. it when I get a few more drinks down here. Right, come on, mate. I'm gonna be like, oh, come on, mate. To the SoundCloud link. Yo, come on, mate. Nah, it's it's called Adam the First. All I'm right, going to hear that today, fam. You, you won't. <laughs> but we'll make it happen at some point. Today, <laughs> after the show. <laughs> Maybe. You're not, coming, you're, not, you're, not, you're, not, you're not coming to my house. Then. Oh, all right, fine. That's fine. You're, not, invite, to you're not invited to my party next year. Well, you wasn't even invited to my party, so that's fine. Well, none of you have ever been to any of my parties. <laughs> I'm not a Brestonian baby. I don't even go to those sort of parties, Steve. I fucking hate parties. <laughs> Honestly, you can't ever, you'll never catch me in a party. Anyway, yeah, so the alias is talk to us. Yeah, the, literally, well, that's about it. And then I do have one more, but I genuinely can't talk about that one. Like, I genuinely can't. There's so much you can't talk Yo, about. This is supposed to be opening up. I feel like we've been very secluded here. No, no, no. And it's nothing against Get you, out. boys. I love sharing information with you. No, but see, on, the, re on the record, I can't mention yeah, one fair. of these things. Well, there's something me and Nyad can't tell you as well, isn't it, Ben? Yeah. Uh, let's yeah, not well, keep no. secrets We're now. not telling you nothing about our secret <laughs> weapon that we've got and in the And after this show, I've changed my mind. I'm going to go home and I'm going straight to bed. I had a late one last night. I mean, what? It's 18 past 10 right now. It's I like can see his time. nose getting longer, <laughs> pushing the microphone over as he speaks. <laughs> now I'm going to be awake all night, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm, I'm joking. No, there's no joke there. <laughs> I'm joking, sort of. <laughs> cool, right, man. So um, there's one last question we've got for you before we move on to the little bit of uh, fun activity oh, at geez. the end of this, uh, which is... What's your end goal? Yeah, with well, music, yeah, for sure. The What's end goal. goal. Um, I suppose it's like constantly changing. Like my my end goal would have been like something completely different, like a year ago. Like, mm -hmm. um, but I think I think what it is is just basically be um an established headliner that gets paid to do what he loves, travel the world. Like I've been fortunate to play quite a lot of gigs abroad already. Um, I've just joined as a residence with Foreverland so there's that's know, sick fucking that well done very, yeah that. very that big. big that's big, part big of the wolf. same uh, crew that runs Spring Break isn't it um, similar similar so um, I believe that they work very closely together yeah uh, but the, the main man Connor yeah big ups for bringing me in um, he's doing some great things and even through the whole COVID situation he was like con he hasn't stopped working like he's a don so um, so yeah I suppose like end goal wise that's definitely going to contribute to the traveling the world factor because there's a mm -hmm. lot of exciting things coming with them next year nice. um but but yeah it would it would realistically be to to be like a a, a platinum selling artist um i i think uh it, it all depends it's going to be a goal that like constantly changes anyway but that for me would be a stand-up thing to be a platinum selling artist have a nice little plaque that i can show the grandkids and be like i used to make dance music <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah, yeah look, that one's called purple drink <laughs> <laughs> what's purple it's, drink, the, it's, the, it's, it's the remix of dirty sprite <laughs> <laughs> can you tell what it is yet <laughs> you want to try some maybe <laughs> Oh, yeah, no, nah. no, sick man, and I think you're going in the right direction yeah, as well. Man, You've got all the it. skills to definitely do that. Oh, I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, fingers honestly, crossed. Fingers you're crossed. very much loved within the Bleed Easy camp. So, big oh, up, and yeah. it's been awesome. It's been awesome, fucking having you, having you on. You've travelled a long way for this, and uh, we really, really appreciate that. We appreciate you. I um, appreciate luckily. you guys. Honestly, it's just, I'm just feeling really emotional right <laughs> now. And <laughs> It's all right, buddy. Honestly. It's hold all right, about, buddy. Hold about me. Going to tissues, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> tissues. Well, I can make them myself, actually. Um, <laughs> what are you going to make them out of? I don't believe you. Oh, yeah, I'll go cut down a tree and I'll just get some chemicals. Nigel, that would be actually deforestation. Well, you don't, don't have an FSC certificate. <laughs> 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 I work with wood, guys. Is that what it's called, is it? 
<laughs> work with wood. Uh, or jiggle I work with wood. The only wood I work with, do you want me to show you? Or man. do you want to, you don't want to see the wood I work with? No, thanks, Nash. Oh my God, look at that. that oh my God, what is wrong with you? You dirty minds. Honestly, this is yeah, like a tangent. A anyway, back, 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 back to the business. <laughs> <laughs> the DJ. <laughs> the DJ. <laughs> Right. right. Okay, we're oh, just yeah, getting yeah, this right. set up now. So Ben, how long do you reckon we? How long, oh, where's it, Mr. DJ? Hmm? Hey, Mr. DJ, well, come up the yeah, replay. Right. I hope you've uh, warmed up your vocal cords, Adam. Yeah. Oh, what? Uh, <laughs> no, no, this one's a bit different because we actually need to figure out how we're going to do this. But it's going to be very cool. All right. right. Okay. So. Uh, <laughs> Are you having a mishap? Right, Talk amongst yourselves. Can we pause it? <laughs> can we pause it? Anyway, so Adam, as you probably saw on last week's uh, show with Danny Blackheart, we did a little uh, session at the end mm. uh, where we made the most of the artists this on, that came on the show, I'd say. Would you say made yeah. the most? Yeah. I'd definitely say we made the most of Nigel. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think I want to hear it one more time. Bad bitches. Bad bitches. <laughs> <laughs> They're back! The reunion! It keeps happening by itself. Right. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> right, anyway, so carry on. Tablets introducing this, this last bit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, uh, so this last section, uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to uh, play a little bit of uh, house music for you. Okay. And, and we're going to create our very own house music song uh, on this show right now. Wow. Now, yeah. this is not something any of us are familiar with except yourself. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Ben uh, Punks Vicious has uh, got together a little uh, sample that we can use. I do apologise in advance for this. <laughs> <laughs> very very short notice. Yeah, it was a it was a last minute thing. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we've so. got we've got this uh, little drum pattern together, and what we're going to do is just a bit of a barbershop. Oh, love it! Oh, mate, over the top of these drums. So we'll all, uh, we'll each pick uh, pick a sound. So we'll give it a couple of goes. See if we can get a little <laughs> jam going. So um, we're, we're gonna we're gonna sort of have to work together on this one a little bit. I think a, li a lot of eye contact's needed. Yes, I like okay. eye contact. Okay. Okay. Feel safe. Deep in the zone. Kill Bill style. <laughs> Play that shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oosh. <laughs> it's very standard, uh, isn't it? Uh, it's like some streets of the road. This is what I do So consider me a specialist medicine We've been taking out the biggest and definite Want to represent at my door I'll be inviting the devil And never stop until I put my fucking neck over And everything but to hell with it I got my soul but shit I saw the breath and bring myself of any humanity Drop my sanity for chaos not clarity For me laughing to parody Never take it for charity Cause I'm high in the canopy yeah I be getting so fucked up I'm loved up I done lost my mind Hallelujah, oh my goodness, baby, come a little closer. Let me tell you just a little something, something. I ran out of words, but it's fine, cause I never rehearsed. I never ever put this shit in the verse, and it choked me, it choked, but I'm kinda. Right, that was all freestyle, so. Mm. <laughs> I like it. That was yeah. actually a lot more smooth than I thought it was. Nah, gonna be. I, I, was, I was choking. I choked like twice, dude. Like it was after it said the second line, dude. I choked, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I started choking. Did you choke? Do you, do, you no, do, no. Some, do you want to do some CPR? Right. Okay. So, so that one, that <laughs> no, one, uh, that one, one. I, I started off with the melody on that one. I want, I want you to start off with the melody. Oh uh, wait. Song, well, oh shit. Right. It's ready. So play like that shit. Play that shit again. <laughs> Sounds like Game of Thrones. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I went on a bit of a fucking mad one. Sorry, sorry. Oh yeah. Okay, right. Think I took well it to oh. oh. My nearly dropped another bleed easy exclusive. That hasn't even been happening. You gotta anybody. cut that yeah. off. <laughs> no, 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 no. Did right, we okay. take it to Right, okay, one last time. 
One last time. So, yeah, that's right, Ben, this time you're the vocalist. <laughs> <laughs> you're doing I the think, words. I think we know that's I not going to happen. No, this drums. time, this time it's Adam's go. Okay, Ben's. Uh, wait, wait, what's Adam doing? He's already done the. He's already done the. No, bars. he did the spit in the bars, which was awesome. And then you started uh, off uh, the last one, so Adam's got to start off with the melody on this uh, one, okay, and we we'll just okay. add. I'm gonna add. I'm just gonna add little this time. No, you can't do tzitzes because it's already in the beat. There's already half Okay, okay. That's why I said just literally boom, boom. That's what I meant by boom, blab, boom. Yeah, it would have been, but we're like I said, we we're in a bit of a rush. Okay, okay it was a last fine. minute thing. It's how we work. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just what it, it is. Man. It is what it is. Okay, Rush. one last time, Adam Guitar, take us away. Let's go. Big, Big old Daddy Doozy. On this one. Boom, 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 Oh yeah, you like that? <laughs> what the fuck are we actually doing? Right, 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 right. Right. That's That's what it. is wrong with us? <laughs> That's the joke. <laughs> <laughs> we're all sitting there with, if someone outside this fucking room can't hear all that music we're all on our headphones and we're just going boom boom <laughs> and we're starting an acapella group I like it, like it. Oh, don't hear no. that in pitch perfect do you that was hard no, well but, you know it's, it, I can certainly say there's no one else that's done that no, no that <laughs> and, is and not to that level at least <laughs> whether or not you view it as a, as a positive or a negative thing I don't think it was done to a very high level oh. <laughs> speak for yourselves no, I, I was putting heart, soul, was heart and soul into that labels give us a shout yeah straight yeah. up well, you, you've got a few labels that you're working with. Maybe you could say a little... Yeah, I'm going I'm to send it straight through to them, man. I'm sure it'll get snapped up. Yeah, so man. a remix. You like yeah, that, you sure, worthless sure. piece of shit. But, um, yeah. <laughs> that was Jeez, a big uh, word. <laughs> I was just trying to fucking end the show and that. And you, you're piping up with all these yeah, things and that. I don't want to end it. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, in all seriousness, honestly, I'll say again, I said it before. Honestly, it's been amazing having you down, man. It's We've had a lot of fun. And I think it's safe to say. Mm. Yeah, and, wicked. Um, yeah, man. But it's good luck with the next year, man. You've obviously yeah. got a lot of big stuff coming up. And obviously, sure. I'm very much looking forward to our track coming out. At some oh, point. absolutely. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much for having me on. It's been, an, uh, yeah, so much fun. I'll, I want to do some more beatboxing and stuff. <laughs> yeah. off, off the record so we can uh, actually ooh, make it make a banger still it'll be great to get you back on at some point in the new year after you've got um new st- new stuff out and you've um yeah new traction new traction 100% and, um, uh, Connor yeah. you've got something to uh, yeah the only thing I wanted to drop in was that uh, in between the podcasts we do a thing called Who's on the Ooze which we, I said about last week and I, you know, I never brought back up which I said I was going to bring back up and I didn't uh, but anyway the, basically what it is is live sessions with different uh, musicians from around Cambridge and guests as well uh, same, similar to the podcast but it's actually live music we do it by the River Ooze in Cambridge uh, in Cambridgeshire in various different places that look good so uh, ch- check it out it's on our YouTube yeah, exactly the same place out. you can find this podcast yeah mine's already out hybrids is already out as well um, it is coming out yeah, so it'll be out, out by the time this podcast is being listened to <laughs> yeah um, literally a couple of days ooh, ooh, ago ooh. but we can't talk about the release because we don't know how it's gone yet yeah. <laughs> but, true, but we've true. got it in we've got it in mind uh yeah. but anyway so uh so yeah that's it check check out uh who's on the news session check out the uh the fuck that's loud podcast on youtube uh follow us on facebook uh like us on facebook sorry follow us on instagram subscribe to our youtube and yeah and so that's everything and i, I just want to add in there thank you to everybody that's actually given us feedback yes uh, on the lot on the last um on the last podcast it's actually really helped us out quite a lot and if you've got any feedback or things that or cool things that you think are cool things cool or things, things that you yeah. <laughs> things that you want us to you know talk about try out in the show or for the last part of the show if you've got ideas or for yeah, something definitely. for us to do for the last part of the show please hit us up and yeah so thank you for listening to whoever's listening thank you for listening to this uh, uh second episode of uh fuck that's loud and thank you for everybody's some um, support so far Honestly, mm-hmm. means a lot. Means a lot that you sit around and listen to us speak. So, yeah, man. <laughs> cool. Much appreciated. Once again, thanks to Adam. Uh, my name's Triple Six Steve. I'm Hybrid MP. I'm Punks Vicious. You are. I'm Big Daddy Zuzu Nine Thousand, aka Steal Your Girlfriend's Lunchbox. <laughs> 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 right, yeah. cool. And on that note, we are out. <laughs>